Sure. What's up, Dylan? Uh, how's how's it been acclimating to uh, the new group that you're working with to the playbook, and and how have you found the first couple of days? Uh, it's been going well. Um, first two days have been smooth. Uh, enjoying getting a tan out here down in the south instead of being up in Fargo, so that's nice. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, just learning the new playbook and stuff, and getting uh, getting this new system. Uh, it's been going well so far. Teresa. Dylan, uh, not only are you working on your tan, uh, you're, you're working in football again. Uh, how, you know, yes, you've been working uh, after your one game last year, but it, how good does it feel to get back out on a football field and start working with your new teammates? It uh, feels amazing. I mean, that's the way I felt getting uh, to the Senior Bowl. Uh, like you said, I only played one game in the fall. Uh, so that was just awesome. That was a fun experience. And overall now I'm just getting back to work, uh, getting to know my teammates, uh, getting to know my coach, uh, and learning the playbook and stuff. And yeah, like you said, it's just uh, it's just been fun uh, just because I haven't I only played one game last year. Harry. Dylan, so far making the jump from one double A now playing in the NFL. Has it been about what you thought it would be from a learning curve or has it been a little overwhelming at times? What's going on? Um, no, not overwhelming. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a curve there in certain areas. Uh, not in all areas. I feel like I was pretty prepared by my coaches from NDSU, but uh, uh, obviously there's always new things to learn when you're going into a new offense and just technique wise what the coach wants you to do going from coach to coach. So, uh, yeah, like I said, just trying my best uh, to adapt and uh, adjust to what they want me to do. PD. Yeah, you mentioned how the transition, you know, as far as going from North Dakota State to here, uh, they prepared you well, but how about from an analytical standpoint, like how much is that going to kind of get, not get in the way, but like make it a little more difficult to, to be violent, you know, and play with this necessary speed? Uh, yeah, obviously the better you know the playbook, the the better you know the plays, the faster you're going to play. So uh, it just comes down to mentally knowing the playbook and knowing all the play calls. Uh, there's going to be more terminology just because it's pro style football now and it's a little bit more than college. So you just got to learn all that stuff. And I'm doing my best to do that. And uh, we're, we're working towards that. Uh, I feel like I'm picking it up pretty well. And uh, yeah, like you, like you said, uh, once you pick it all up, uh, you'll be able to play really fast. And I have no doubt that I'll get there. Ben Arthur. Hey, Dylan, I think I saw you doing some like right guard stuff out there in addition to some right tackle. Just how comfortable, you know, are you, you know, maybe just moving inside if that's kind of what the Titans need from you? Uh, yeah, pretty comfortable. Uh, I play a little left guard at the senior bowl. So uh, just moving inside, uh, things that happen quicker. And yeah, there's a uh, there's different aspects to the game. But uh, uh, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with ever wherever they need to put me. Emily. Yeah, Dylan, I'm curious, um, how much communication are you in with the other draft picks before arriving at camp? And just how good was it to, to see all of them in person? And does it feel a little bit more real now? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, we texted and stuff and uh, just saw each other and whatnot. Uh, we have a group chat, uh, group chat they put together and uh, uh, yeah, communicate a little bit and then uh, saw them all together uh, at the hotel. And uh, yeah, it was just good to meet my new teammates and stuff and uh, see who uh, I'm going forward with. Luke? Dylan, it looked like you guys were working pretty hard out there with uh, uh, Coach uh, Carter today. What, what's been your relationship with him so far, and what are some of the things that you all have, have focused on getting right as a group this week? Yeah, uh, speed and violence uh, is what he just said today. Uh, that's what's fresh in my head. Um, uh, he reminds me a lot of my first O-line coach that I had in college. Just a uh, fiery guy, brings a passion every single day. So, uh, uh, yeah, it, it's a good relationship. Uh, I'm used to getting coached uh, 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 with guys like him. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's a good relationship. I uh, look forward to building that moving forward. And, uh, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a fiery guy. He brings passion every day. Jim Wyatt. And, Dylan, obviously it's a lot of preparation leading up to the opener. This is just the start. But as you, as you go into rookie camp with another day left, what did you hope to accomplish? And how do you think things have gone so far? Uh, yeah, my big goal was uh, learning the playbook and everything. Ever since I got the, the iPad, uh, I've been looking to just know the playbook inside and out, trying to uh, figure out all the calls and stuff, because uh, like we talked about earlier, if you don't know the calls, you can't play fast. So uh, that's my big goal going into rookie mini camp, and then obviously taking in as many coaching points as possible. Go, Claire. Dylan, what have the last couple of weeks been like in terms of 
friends and acquaintances and, and their reaction to you being drafted and, and how many people think you're a millionaire right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's nice uh, just to celebrate with all my family and friends and all my community and stuff. I mean, I made an Instagram post about it. It's, uh, it truly took a village to get me here. And uh, uh, yeah, I put in the hard work, but uh, a lot of people supported me doing it. And uh, yeah, they celebrated with me. It was super awesome. Uh, definitely, uh, they're all part of my journey and it's, uh, it's been very exciting for them and for me. And, uh, yeah, uh, we're not too focused on the money right now. I mean, uh, it is what it is. We're just here to play football. So. Rex road. Yeah. Dylan, now that you've you know been around and gone through the playbook, some how, how similar would you say this offense is to what you did in college? How would you describe the similarities and differences? Mm, yeah. Um, so basically the similarities would just be uh, the mentality part, just firing off the ball, trying to be a hard run team, uh, a predominant run team. And that's what they do here at Tennessee. That's what we did at NDSU. But we are a lot of power scheme at NDSU. Uh, and now we're, uh, I'd say, more zone. Uh, but, uh, yeah, overall, it's, it's not too much of a difference. Uh, we're going to run the ball a lot. That's the biggest uh, uh, similarity. Cool. Dylan, I know Keith uh, asked you guys to be pretty precise in some of those drills you're doing over there working by yourself. What did you learn about some of that stuff, not only uh, from playing your position, but working as the scout guy for, for other people when they're doing their work? Um, yeah, yeah. He's just coaching right now, getting us to fire off the ball, do the techniques, running our feet, stuff like that. Uh, and then when, when, you, when you're the scout guy, you just uh, you just learn how to be the defender. You learn what the defender sees, stuff like that. So you can uh, just see both sides of the ball, both perspectives. Uh, uh, so you can make uh, ultimately make your block as efficient as possible. Steve Lehman. Dylan, you may not have a ton of time to get on the field before training camp comes on. How much do you just embrace this weekend to – soak up everything you can and perhaps make a good first impression with your new coaching staff? Uh, obviously a lot. You just try and come out here every day and make an impression. Uh, Brable talks about uh, how we just make an impression on everybody that day uh, and stuff like that. So come out every day and just uh, go out and uh, uh, give your best. Uh, make sure people remember you by the end of the day. Fuck. And Dylan, from a technical scan standpoint, is there any one thing that you're kind of focusing on that, that maybe you've done diff differently in the past uh, at North Dakota State and, and that they're trying to get you to kind of workshop now that you're here uh, with them and the pros? Yeah, like we talked about before, uh, power team, zone team, a little bit different just footwork-wise. So just mainly just a little bit footwork differences, nothing nothing too major, just working on that, uh, working with how uh, – uh, Coach Carter coaches me and uh, his coaching points and uh, learning to adapt to that and uh, adapt to what technique he wants me to use. Uh, 